What is up, everybody? It's your boy DJ, and welcome to a game called The Casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Now, I've never played Dead by Daylight on my channel. I probably never will. It's one of those games that I usually play in my downtime, unless it's like something that's requested or something. But, yeah, I've played Dead by Daylight. I play the DLCs every now and then, just not on the channel. But, this was made by Supermassive. And I play majority of Supermassive games. I'm good with the the decision-based horror games. Some people I some some people I save everybody, and some of them I don't. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, skip to end because I accept. I already know. Skip to end. Everybody accepts all this, you know. Data reporting. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Until the left image is barely image. Okay, so we good. Oh, so I could have sworn this thing said it was single player. So people can play, okay, so die alone or die together. That sounds like um, theater mode from the dark pictures. You will not escape torment, but you may survive. What? Wait, wait, choose your path. Wait, is this? That? Okay, difficulty. Doi. You will witness suffering, but the survival is expected. Leave behind all hope of survival. Um, I'm confused. D difficulty? This is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead with normal. God, no. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. As per usual, I've sacrificed everything searching for it. Aw, oh, jeez, I don't got subtitles. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A yeah, realm the claw. so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Worlds? How many are we talking? You acting like this is multiverse. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of over multiverse stuff right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love it, but I'm over it. Who that? Oh, it's a dog. Guy right there. Is that a baby? Oh, okay. Prep. We're in openings. Okay, you made that jump.
Oh, the, the picture is changing. It looks like we're in present time now. Oh, he out. I thought I was dealing with a beast for a second. He just sleep. Uh oh. Why the zoom in? Yeah, I know you. You the um police sheriff. I know. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Okay, I can pause. Okay, hold up. Uh, let me see about putting the subtitle on. Wait, costumes? We can change costumes? Uh, hold on. Let me let me figure this out real quick. Just you? All Probably right, we're the good. Entire site? Oh no, I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin, a dog. Doberman Pincher. A Doberman? Best friend of Philip really? could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Oh, I'm playing as the sheriff or I bet. Be concerned. Let's be concerned for right now. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holt's the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? Missing That's boy? That's right. Been drinking. That's a bad Notice question. Notice anything <laughs> suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight? Last few nights? Anything any, at all? Any. Oh, nothing. 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 Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. Hmm. What did the sheriff say? The baby. Okay, Tom. Mm. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. Oh, I know. He paused for me. Hold up, hold up. I was about to say something. I got, I got something to say. The baby I was crying. Buddy, you're on the list right now. You, you, better, you better convince me. Convince me why. Okay. He's actually checked the meal. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does fits, not. Or, I'm well, talking human dogs don't wear shoes, but you know what I mean. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Man, he ain't gonna understand a word that I'm gonna say. He no. just want he just wants some biscuit. Happy to oblige. Hey, don't turn your back on this dude. I swear, if the if the liquor had something to do with the story, and I ain't asked about it. Pretty damn stupid to me, that's all I gotta say. Yo, wait, what what era is this? That's a pretty old looking cop car. His name was Tom. I'm Sam. So none of us is Frank. So whoever is this 
Frank Stone is. Of course, everything's locked up for the night. Is that the dog watching me? Just go ahead and pounce on me. I mean, you, you could try. Okay, now I can, I can walk now. Bet I'll figure out the, the move fast button. Yep, yep, there we go. Figured it out. I ain't trying to be walking through tutorial. Let's get through this. He ready to come out here and be like, Roo-roo! <laughs> okay, good design so far. An open window. I can get in through there. Aha! Uh -huh. Good eye. Press X to climb. Hmm. I believe the last super massive game that I played was uh The Devil in Me. Huh. Easy does it. Not gonna lie, it was a I mean it, it was good. But if I had to rate all the dark pictures games, if I'm being completely honest, that was four. That was number four for me. Number number one was House of Ashes. House of Ashes was that. That was a good one. Oh boy, crevices. House of Ashes was that good one. And uh, then the second one, uh, Man of Medan, then Little Hope, then uh, Devil in Me. Other than that, as of right now, when it comes to all Super Mario games, I have to say House of Ashes. House of Ashes is my top favorite game. Second has to be uh, Until Dawn, then third has to be The Quarry. That's 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 all I gotta say. Speaking of which, Until Dawn remake, maybe I don't know. I'll think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, huh? Yo, look at how smooth he's moving. A mill employee guy's job thanks to the endorsement. Bet. Wait, 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 don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, not yet. I learned my lessons. Search the place first. Okay, nothing's going on. Okay, now we go. I probably would have moved that right. Wait. Wait, wait, what did it say? Okay, whatever. I would think the thing would still keep up so I can read it. You know, I just noticed. Am I? Am, is this prologue? Cause I'll do what I can, but I'll get, I, this guy's gonna be cooked. That's all I can say. Uh, well, I mean, except for Corey. Well, they didn't die until later on, but you know. Okay, you want me to go down that way, right? Okay. Locked. Okay, it's locked. Why? Why am I trying to open stuff? It's locked. Focus, DJ. Hello? Anyone? Oh, I've here? been figured that out. You know I I don't like Police. the I don't like to move too slow. I'm missing dialogue because I'm yapping. I don't like moving slow, okay? Not not in video games. I gotta be moving. <laughs> nice. Nice. You got that. It was a that was a little bit that was a little bit. It wasn't bad, but ooh, don't be around the corner. Buddy, did you get trapped in here? All I gotta say is, do you at least have a gun on you? Do you at least have a gun on Okay, yeah, you do. It's probably got like six bullets. Yeah, you're, you're done. You are not ready for what... Uh-oh. Okay. That's a dark room. I don't like it. Who's there? What am I hearing? Ugh. Smells like death. Don't say that. Oh man, please don't turn around. Okay, I, I hate these little moments where I'm in like small spaces. Turn around. Oh, I should have went up the stairs. Should have went up the stairs. Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, 
You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Mm. Ugh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Okay. You chill there. Hold up. I'm finna go up the stairs real quick because that right there is telling me I was going in the right direction and I do not want that right now. Not yet. Don't go down the stairs. Turn right. What the frick was that? Hey, yo, buddy. Hold up. Hey, yo, buddy. Hold up. Wait, what? Oh, hell nah. Okay, so this just put me all the way back, so let's try this again. This dude really phased through the stairs. Like, come on now. Okay, all that for nothing. And we're gonna go watch this dialogue again, real quick, and be done with this. Like, bro. Ugh, smells like death. Yeah, we know. Like, bro just phased through the ground. And I was, like, trapped there. Like, what was. I don't know what kind of bug that was, but. That for sure definitely should not happen. Yeah, we know. Hey, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You alright there? Ugh. Yeah, Yo, just, you know, hearing this right here got Jesus, me thinking. You don't smell that? The smell is the dog. I'm calling it. It's Sniffers the Doberman. Commission. <laughs> got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah, uh, it can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. We shall see. But no, but then what was watching me in the back? I mean, that's all That's all I can guess. It's either somebody or it's the dog. What the fuck? Oh! Man, there you are, Mark. We wondered where you got to. Oh, he's on that ish. Come here, boy. Dig name it. <laughs> Oh sure yeah, your boy's gone. If you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. Don't pick it up! Are you freaking kidding me? You know what that is. It's meat. Not the good kind. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Oh, this guy is delusional. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Wiener meat? Yup. Yup. It's over with. Your dog has tasted human. Well, you, you gotta leave, bro. That. That's not your dog no more. That damn dog. That's Cujo. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Oh man, please don't. Unsettled, dismissive. Well, I mean, there it, it is no proof. It could be somebody else, though. There's no proof it does. 
But what if... Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. He tasted that human flesh. I'm not gonna lie. If he jump at me, I gotta put him down. I'm sorry. No. Well, I hate to say that. If it was real life, it depends. But it's like... In this situation... And this is... What was that sound? This is dead by daylight. Stay behind me. That's a demon dog now. You know, Dead by Daylight, what if y'all put Cujo in the game? You know, as a killer? What if y'all put Cujo in there? That's all I gotta say. Y'all put Chucky? So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find something to probably open the grid. Why do you want to go in there? Huh. Huh. Boy, Dumet will be having a ball with this. He was messed up. Devil in me? Gotcha. Even though it wasn't it wasn't top three super massive game for me. I still, I still can't deny Dumet was one of probably one of my favorite, favorite enemies in Dark Pictures. Yeah, he was definitely one of my top favorite enemies, but storyline wise, it just wasn't, it wasn't up there for me. But he will, he would love this situation right now. Use item. Stand back. Wait, 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 what? Spam? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, wait, we did that before. We've we done that in the past. How about I say? Yeah, that's nothing different. Nothing different. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You do not got enough bullets, I got you. You really think that boy's down there? I don't know. I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. If you one of those prologue characters, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I did. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I hate how motivational this is. Yeah. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. I really, really hate how motivational this is. If either one of the fate changed fate? So is that is that my butterfly effect? Is fate? Man, if either one of us I know if I mean I, somebody's gonna die, but if, if either one of us survives this after that speech, that would be a blessing right there. But I, I just hate how heartfelt that was. I got six bull oh don't 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 give me the gameplay where I have to choose where to sh Ooh. Don't give me the um the situation where I had to choose whether to shoot or not. Oh the ladder's broke. Yeah, we, this is our home now. Because I'm going to pick a moment where I don't want to shoot, th then it's over. Is that a rat? Where do you want me to go? Find a way to the furnace chamber. Damn it. 
You definitely not wearing that now, huh? He said, screw it. Furnace access. Someone's engaged in strange rituals. Okay, why are we walking? We need to, we need to be zooming. If nothing's down here, what is that? Furnace access down that way? Examine? Wooden horse. I know what it is to believe through the forest the path is clear and the fire waits for me. You know, I wonder what my premonitions are going to be in this game. Is there is there going to be premonitions in here? Damn. It's a maze down here. Okay. I think that's just another path right there to what we were going. So let's just go down the original way. See what happens. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm not tripping, am I? Furnace access. This has got to be it. I wonder what the wooden horse means. Hold up, hold up. <sighs> wooden heart? Oh no. Wait, who is that? Not gonna take it with you? Is that a rib cage? What is that? That is a rib cage. He said, "What is that, bro? Uh, know your anatomy. Come on now." This place turns my stomach. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. I'm about to say Chewbacca. The hillbilly. Oh, that's one of these. Um, that's one of the the OG Dead by Daylight people. The the letter face before actual letter face shows up in the game. Goddamn small spaces. Boy, I know your whole outfit is done. Wait, 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 where do you want me to go, game? You want me to go in that crevice, I know. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm getting me all types of secrets. What is that? My God. Wait, wait. Success a skill check. Press X when the Ain't no way. I was kinda good at these? Wait, are we really gonna have to do skill checks, really? You lying. When the pointer is inside success zone. You lying. I wasn't expecting the pipe to but I, I thought it was something else. Okay, I thought I was I was embracing something dangerous. I wasn't expecting a pipe. Got you. Did that screw me with the light?
promise you, I'm kind of. I, I said I'm kind of good at those. I wasn't expecting it to be a moment like that. I gotta be on my P's and Q's right here, man. That's all I say. Wait, ramp or ladder? Which direction was he at? Oh gosh. I clicked it! I clicked it! I'm actually trying. Hold up, that's not right. I clicked it for real that time. I actually Hmm We 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 gonna see We gonna see now hold up I'm mad now hold up I'm supposed to beat the metal mammoth Hmm You a killer that's wearing oven mittens. You oh, I know that control. He hooked me. Oh, the claw's about to come out. Mm. Mm. Ooh. You freed yourself from the pipe. Do not throw that baby down there. Headshot. Yes, sir. You shot Frank Stone and saved the jump. Wait, th that was Frank Stone? Oh, God. Damn. Ooh. 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 <laughs> nah, go get that baby. Wait! The game is called The Casting of Frankston. Did I just create a interdimensional demon? Oh, look, I did. I, I think I did. Entity. I know it's called the Entity, but I call it the Claw, so. Okay, random girl has a nightmare. Let me guess, you're the baby. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. That's a 
fancy looking cup. Shoot. What? The hell? No, no, where's my roof? What is that? MacBook? Nah. Look, look at my roof. Where's my roof? Huh? Wait, so is the is Sam good? Nah, hold up. Give me one of those prompts again. I need to see something. Wait, oh Come on now. Come on now. Oh, she scribbled out this time? What the? Wait. What was the whole purpose of it being upside down? Okay, what am I gonna see this time? Completely scribbled out. Can I just go back to bed? Well, actually, no, because you know you might get jumped by a by a creature in the, in the tree. Oh, and my room's gone. I'm dead. I'm done. Oh no, we're leaving the trail, just like in, de in actual Dead by Daylight. Oh, no, 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 hold up. Collection? Wait, let me see something. Still do the same thing, just like just like in the old games. Oh, that was in nineteen sixty three. That explains it. That very much that car. Without permanent damage to his shoulder, so if I just straight up let the QTE go, then I lose my arm. Sam shot and killed Frank Stone. So we in twenty twenty four now. That's a huge ass um time skip.
brain in you? Oh, wow. Yeah, nightmare on a plane is a bad sign of anything. Get a grip. Okay, we got artifacts now. Did you pull that out of your dream like it's um Okay, so now this is the official official opening, but uh, wait. So what was the opening before? Are we actually gonna get actual like human credits? Oh, that's because somebody driving. I thought we was about. I was getting. I was about to get. You do this, Maddie. Just. There is no right or left, it's one road. What kind of car are you driving? Oh, hold up. Oh, I mean, this is how it starts, hitchhiking. This is how it starts. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, gee! I don't remember the I don't remember time going by that fast. I'm not gonna That doesn't look like a crazy person. It really doesn't. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so uh you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right. Sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. Ah. So it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. <sighs> Wait. Where, where are we at? Cause why am why am I on the right side of the car? What what what, what country am I in? Steering wheel is on the right. Where am I at? So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as you know we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's okay. cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard Wait, it was Wait, did you say one of them? Nice. Okay. Whatever, or that's fine. Kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, Linda. you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda. Yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber. 
and that that was supposed to be super fancy or something and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. Oh. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Hmm. Oh, this, this is giving, uh, Linda is grateful you pulled over. So this is one of the people I see. If it was, if game hey, sense wise, I made a good choice. Take a look. Well, I'm not gonna lie, real life, I'm not hitchhiking nobody. I can't do it. People are crazy nowadays. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Oh, this chapter two now. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Yep, here we go. It begins. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. What time Hello? was it? Anybody home? She is so unserious. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Oh hell no. <laughs> Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Cause you're a grown up. And it was your so idea. Are you, Maddie. Okay, I'm a grown up too. You right, you right. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Madison. Hello. Let's take a look around. Just like that. Bet. All right. Um. Hello. We've arrived. Nothing here. I'm looking everywhere. Let me see. No, 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 no. So, not this way then. Okay, hold it. There's a bunch this of doors. Seems a bit more lively. Hold up. There's too many. I need to see some. Okay. That's... Okay. Chess? Okay. Okay, we got roundabouts. Hold up. Please don't be up. Okay, cool. I just want a secret. Are we getting premonitions in this game, though? For real, for real. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Hmm? Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? 
He's a snob about business. Yuck. I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Nah, that's Maybe. messed up. Do you play? Um, a little. Could have just told us there was a delay or something. That's a waste of gas money. Especially if it's a rental. This is kind of freaking me out. Another wait, 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 wait a second. Hmm. Interesting. It's the horse I had got. Stop going up the stairs. Okay, that was that was just reflection. How did you get down here so quick? Hold on, I see light. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Exactly, get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here. So, <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan, and you would be Maddie. Maddie, beautiful name, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, middle name Lexington. <laughs> what? Big town. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate oh of men. Oh gosh, you one of those. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Oh, uh, you one of those. Okay. Interesting. What that mean? Wait, hold up. Only reason why I'm even choosing this is because I want to see, don't don't be interested like that. I just want to because the magnifying glass, that's different. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your back. Oh, that's call. the dude. But, but the card. only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III. <laughs> she does not care. Back end call. Only to call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Uh, so, what's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are okay. not little. Director? You're a filmmaker? Filmmaker, okay, whatever, uh, yeah. same thing, I guess. I've made some movies. A lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Mm -mm. Blood benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. 
Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Right. Assistant oh, well, is kind of crazy. I, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss of what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars. The ethic of Gilgamesh? Trading. Well, nothing illegal. A bit of, like, obviously. bedtime reading. Oh, obviously. This dude loves his weapons? Wish you would. Okay, okay. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder mill? Murder mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? This dude no. really trying with the rhymes. That made no sense. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No. Oh. No, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. The CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? So they actually went rabbit? Oh, man. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. to happen I don't know but I am digging up the actress <laughs> who that ah good I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival there are a great many things that require my attention at the moment and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together <clears throat> ah yes and speaking of needing attention all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, 
Augustine Lieber. So what you now want? Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Mmm. Nah. Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. That dude would be drunk out well, of his I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all um, this way just for drinks. Uh, What's well, in there? Yeah. Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. Wow. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Does that count as pirated, you know? That's, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's in a film role, so like, I don't, I don't know if that counts, but I'm just gonna say, yeah, pirated for sure. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. What'd that mean? I, I... I never knew what it was from. <gasps> you told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. I'm so all lost. Do we all have the film? What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain... Why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. Villain. Villain. Right there. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power it. pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My she was the hooded figure. Mangled. Yet Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. One thing you bastards will just never understand. Okay, he acted. 
You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Son was not ready. Oh no, no. My sister? Oh god. Oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister. And you will let me go free. To fight another day. Oh, that took a turn. Weird pacing. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible! Okay, Come this is me. turning cheesy fast. May okay. I guess he's this kind of character. All right. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. Well, I bet. Right, you alien scum. Alien? Do your worst. I can take it. Is that what this is? Ah, what is that? What are you doing? Uh, oh, you ain't even need my... What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, he lost. He lost. Did you lose your leg? And cut. How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way. Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Brad. Chris is happy How with your How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, oh, 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 my choices. Okay, bet. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. No, huh? I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The oh, craft. Wait, wait. You know who she looked like? <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't remember her name. She looked like that. What the pigtail-looking girl from Monster House? You, you gotta agree with me with that one. Come on now. He's Louise. <laughs> so, are, are we good or what? I mean, put in their, put yeah. in their picture up. I mean, look at her. It looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... <laughs> Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh she was close. I, she I wanted a in. wide close up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. Oh. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close up <laughs> or an extreme shot or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust and... Good response. I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff. She about to, no? she about to crash, I'm just saying. Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. Okay, you okay, you lost me. Hold still, let me clean you off. We'll get it on this way. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh, oh. You, this is the couple of oh, the it's game. It's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kinda real. Mm. 
It's worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds? Let's see. Um, uh, camera speeds. I saved the last couple right. in the last massive game. And we will pull. see what I do with this one. And pull. And action. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Fuck. No. Oh, dude, oh, that is not good. No, who what is that? What do you think you're doing in here? Oh. Hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. He's alive. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this oh, is, is over. the climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. Oh, we're here? And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Oh, she's southern as hell. Miss Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Brody, how's your shoulder? Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And <laughs> we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Not a working camera or nah, he cool. He, he I guess that's it. That if y'all knew what he did, he camera cool. just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. Oh, you know him? We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Hmm. I wish I knew the girl name. I don't know her name. Monster House. That's all I gotta say. She's like she really do. I don't know. Wait, where's the dude? Wrapped out, sir. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. I know that dog got got. I know I had to. Where, where, where did where did the dude go? Sky? I know y'all seen that. Chapter 3? That thing ready to blow up. Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic internal deadline? Gothic? 
I like it. Mm. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> you mean yes. assistant? Not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> I mean, Doesn't nothing Sheriff wrong with glass Green have anything full. better to do Look with at his the time? Side. Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. Where were you? I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all... Like this? Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mail killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like... Our steel mill, where we were just shooting like an hour ago? Yes. yes. Theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? That sounds like just something she would say. People, some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Where's the baby? Do you know what this means? That way you need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be, like, totally famous! Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! <laughs> Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing People is, did that? I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. I think that was dumb. <laughs> what? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? You want to square up? Jovial, what does that mean? Must be funny. Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. Well, he's just worried about Hey, calm down, Rhea Ripley. He's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Actually, no, hold up. That, that is kind of harsh, but let's just be hopeful. Yeah, but... Mom's gonna get better soon, so... It's not gonna matter. Right. Yeah. Of course you're right. So 
sorry. I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. Facts. Gotta... You. But the last thing not at me. Is for us to be screaming at each other. That's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh oh. What? 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 Linda, where's the Jaime Bell? <laughs> Jaime ring, Bell? Ring. What's the Jaime Bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm mm. just speaking from my heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing. We're gonna uh, break we into the mill. Extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. Oh, maybe. How much do you need? I mean... Wait a second, we're in 2024? Are we? Hold up. Wait, are we? Could not, now it says 1980. What year are we in? Uh, I'm kind of nervous too. In 20? <laughs> Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand? Fate changed. That's what I want to see. Hold up. Okay, 1980. Okay, I was going to say because first off, old busted up looking fan, and then the old camera. That's, that's, that's all I want to know. Okay. Okay, so bro sur okay, yep, yep, okay, bro survived. Art. You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right. It's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. a little uh wiggly i'm fine it's just uh, what is in that fake blood i think it's just mint flavored real blood oh it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact mm. you washed it all off like right away right uh you don't think it's like actually poisonous do you it's a horror movie jaime anyone could go at any time <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. $20 to fix a camera lens. 1980? Man, can't even try and fix a phone screen without paying over 400 bucks. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. Okay, last time I'm gonna be doing this, I'm not gonna be doing all these pauses every now and then. There was gonna be a black string anyway. Oh man. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. 
Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Yo, those look kind of nice. I'm not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We is that saw a the squirrel? cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Heard like a little noise. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Okay, I, I, I get what you're saying, game. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. True. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. And that's where stuff pops off. I knew it. Well, first, I'm gonna look around first. I wanna see what trophies I get. Or not trophies, treasure. No, the hunter. I know this one. Oh, cute bunny. That's a little Surely singing Russian lady with something that can help axe. us amongst all this junk. Or huntress. Bomb burger. Who used this one? I can't remember. I know that one. That was one of the OG killers of Dead by Daylight. Not sure. What's that from? The clown? Want to watch this creep fest? Hmm. Is it just staring? What am I looking at? Yo, what's the music? Oh, this dude. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. 
<laughs> the first. And I guess we are, wait, I guess we are done. Hold up. Alright, let's go. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw, and you're like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. You're in 1980. Possible. We could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Twenty bucks. Don't be like that. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Uh, Wait, Chris. Okay. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock, sock quarter? Oh, no. Wait. Okay, I thought we went back. Buy milk. I guess. Alright, well... I'm a little well over an hour, so I'm gonna cut it here. Next part, we're gonna start it off. I guess looking for milk so hope y'all enjoyed this one don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already and what are you looking for i don't even know but we'll be back with some more what's it the casting of frank stone peace out y'all